Hello, I'm Alex. Welcome to the Daily Pilgrim Show. On today's programme, we're going to be looking at an old barn. Always the way, isn't it? You're trying to do a bit to camera, your mate's outside, and the phone goes. Paid employment, eh? Who'd have it? Right, so we are at... Great Coxwell Tithe Barn, and uh, I'm going to go and find Rick. He was looking incredibly smart, actually. So, look at that—a shirt and it's the tank top. <laughs> ah, Noel Edmonds, how are you? <laughs> Right, so Rick and I have had a coffee and he gave me a nice present as well, a new mug. I'll show you that in a minute. Actually, let's, some, let's show you now, actually. It's um, on Rick's video as well, doing the same video, but um, he's made me an Elvis the Eldest mug. A lovely picture on the back of me and Noah from our, our first trip. So, put that away. I've just had a biscuit actually, I was starving. So we're going to go now and have a look at Coxwell Tithe Balm. And uh, yeah, let's go have a look. So we needed to come somewhere that we could fit Elvis in. Elvis being nearly seven and a half metres long. Um, actually, I'm not going to... Rick's talking about going to the church to him there. I'm not going to turn this round. I'm going to have to find. Uh, I'm going to have to find somewhere to turn it, or go down with Rick and Guinevere. But, um, but yeah. So um, it's a nice day. We just wanted to come out and get out and and do something. It didn't matter what it was. Although, I've actually got two videos backed up uh, that I haven't edited yet so so I've now got three so there's going to be a quite a fast release turnaround I think but um, here we are and um, Rick was actually showing me he did a video years ago which is on the Honest Guys channel so if I remember I'll put a link below to it um, but yes we're now going to go and have a look see what we can see just discussing Noel Edmonds here. Well, I, I thought it was it's too hot for a jumper, but then I, I'm too podgy to wear white. So, <laughs> so I'm just wearing white shirt. Stripes <laughs> help, you like, know. Stripes help. Yeah, so maybe, um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go he didn't shirt. think that through, did he? <laughs> right, so here we go. I thought we'd have a look. Now, this is an 800 year old. Uh, was it a tie barn? I think so. Um, it's part of a rectory which didn't have monks here, but it was run by lay people. So, um, oh, it's National Trust. Oh, oh, admissions that we can, we can, we're, we're covered because we're National Trust. Members. Yes. I think there is something of pure mischief that we do need to do. I'll give you that. May I invite you just to film? <laughs> Someone's seen our Honest Guys video of the Great Cotswold Balm. <laughs> and there's a little scene in it. <laughs> this is going to have to be a tradition every time we come here now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you like? So I've just spent years watching John Cleese. <laughs> <laughs> the man from the Ministry of Funny Walks. So you don't want to do it as well then? I'm good. Thanks. You're good, you're good. good. Yes. Yeah, I've got my golden crown clothes on. Oh fair enough. <laughs> yeah, got my big boy pants on. <laughs> I'm 
I'm wondering what that green box is. An owl box or something. algae's taken over that. But, um, I bet Rick's saying exactly the same thing. Oh! Make a wish. I love about places like this, just the wonderful peace about it all. And, you know, this is how it would have been hundreds of years ago as well, just, yeah, no road noise. And oh, I was going to sit down, it's a huge dragonfly. But, um,. So the idea of a tithe barn um, dates back way before Waitrose could uh, deliver your shopping. And even when we had COVID, um, we all remember how hard it was to get food. But it was never more than two, three days supply chain stages away. Um, you know, even in the worst of it, you know, when all the flour and the milk and the bread and what have you had all gone, you could still get something and there were still supply trucks moving around. Hundreds of years ago, if there was a bad winter and the harvest had failed or what have you, it was the tithings that had been placed in there. They would have been the ones to have been drawn out, um, basically to keep people alive. The rectory behind, the rector would have had a big part in that. Um, churches and clergy would have been far more centre of the community um, by necessity back in those times. Um, and I'm not saying that it isn't, you know, a good thing that the world has changed because, you know, it is in so many ways and people have got choices that they never had before. But even hundreds of years ago, 800 years ago, I think this building is, 800 years ago, they still had a plan for feeding people and looking after their community um, if things got really bad. So um, I think that's quite nice that, uh, you know, the community was was looking after itself and it wasn't relying on sort of outside aid to come in and help. Um, they took a real responsibility of looking after them, uh, themselves as a community and therefore each other within that community. And, uh, I think that's uh, well, it's a testament to a bygone era, I think, but, um, but I think it's quite nice that, uh, that they would have done that all those years ago. I think some food is in order, don't you? Food. Okay. Food. We'll do food. Hot. So we're just having the conversation to level all others. Cold McDonald's that's been refrigerated and brought with us that was obviously excess when ordered. Um, should you warm it back up or should you have it cold? Well, I'm going to have mine cold. When I was 16, I worked for McDonald's. It was my first ever job. And whatever was left at the end of the night, uh, we were able to bring home with us and I put in the fridge and I just discovered I loved it cold the next morning. And when I say whatever was left um, at the end of the night, um, the managers in those days used to say, right, what does everybody want? 
and then we would cook all this extra food that we were never ever going to sell at sort of three minutes to midnight and oh no it's closed and we've only got 72 hamburgers left and we'd divide them out. <laughs> so Richard K, I won't, uh, I'll protect the guilty, um, Richard K if you're watching thanks for putting me on to this. It may have been 30 years ago but um, cheers. Hello, I'm Alex. Welcome to the Daily Pilgrim Show. On today's programme, we're going to be looking at an old barn. Alex has just gone off to get some fizzy drinks. And he's left his camera with me, very foolishly. <laughs> now, whenever I accidentally leave my camera in Alex's vicinity when I go off anywhere, He usually makes a, uh, a bit of a video, um, puts a little Easter egg on my, on my video. So I'm doing the same, but um, <clears throat> I can't think of anything wild or wacky or weird to do. So, uh, and he's coming back now. So, shh, but I'll tell him. So we're gonna go down and have a look at the church. As I previously mentioned, Elvis is quite big. So we're going to just take one of it down. But I did think I'd just go down and uh, make sure Elvis is locked up and also grab my, um, it's my phone and my wallet so it's not left in there and um, be good to go. No, it's um, not not the largest car park. We've now separated. Um, I can only presume that that's a husband and wife. So, um, yes, we decided we were doing the same video, so we've uh, we've gone off and we're now going to do it in, at least in a different order. Um, see, I love things like this. This is... This is history, this is... Even the woodwork. I see lots of woodworm and what have you, but... Uh, Very nosy. Oh, that's the box of the numbers that go up there. The rhythm wall there to tell people what hymns to sing. And, uh, so that's uh, presumably those are the servicemen that were 
bury it outside. Not any cross, somebody engraved in there, look. I love the old fashioned kneelers. You just don't get those in modern churches now. And, um, and often the kneelers are actually hand needle pointed um, by, um, by local people. And ah, oh, here we are, look. Concord. I don't think that's an original 12th century one. So this is a map of all the graves outside. So somewhere there will be a key to them. I always wonder, actually, because some of these beautiful old churches sometimes now actually have um, cameras installed in them so they can be monitored remotely. And I think it is such a shame that they have to, but I can well understand why they have to. So this, you only see this in older churches, you don't see them in modern builds now. But this is the communion rail. So this separates the altar and the priest. And this is where, I do feel I can stand here. And this is where the congregation would come and they would kneel. On that step there, to receive communion. See, this is where the uh, the priest will will say the mass. Now, I'm wondering if there's something ever so slightly high church, because I think this is a tabernacle. Or is it just a safe? I don't know. If it is a tabernacle, that's where excess bread and wine is placed. Usually just the bread, actually. This place so that communion can be given to travellers at any time, um, even if, um, if the priest is not present, uh, which I think is a, is a lovely thing. And, uh, fresh flowers. That, that means somebody's caring about this place. A friend of mine who recently retired from the Church of England, um, Easter Sunday this year, he was running 13 parishes. There were actually 14 churches, but 13 parishes. Um, now, you know, in, in the days when I was, you know, sort of dreaming of ordination years ago, um, you know, it, um, one parish, one priest, um, you know, sort of one man, one church. But um, this is quite interesting, this. This skull and again testament to all the churches. 
purchase ones. Lighter. And the crayon in this case. There's all sorts of insignia that you can put, but obviously this signifying the um, the diocese. Obviously this signifying the diocese and this the crown of England. Um, right, let's go back outside. So determined that we haven't done the same video. Oh. I was just saying, determined that we haven't done the same video, and then round you come on cue. <laughs> have you been inside? I have, but there is something that I wanted to do, and I'm going to ask Rick to be cameraman. built on afterward you can see from outside. Oh is it? Yeah, this was an afterthought. Oh. I'll put money on it. I thought that was a tabernacle where the um, excess bread is kept. Um, but uh, no, I was gonna oh. I was gonna try and see if I can get into the belfry. Oh I'm a portly fellow you know <laughs> Do I need to call the fire brigade at some point? Oh, it's bricked up. Oh is it? That's, me. that's the second. Uh, that is really nice. Yeah, that's the second one we've been to where it was locked off. So it's locked off with the wall. Mm. Uh, do you want me to shine yours up there? Yeah, can do. <laughs> so again, <coughs> this, we can't get up here. That's been blocked off. It's a shame. Oh God! <laughs> oh. You're right there, Alex. Yes. <laughs> Too many cheeseburgers. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I am a vicar. <laughs> it's not a catchphrase that's going to get me out of trouble, is it? <laughs> Coffee, maybe, and a cup of coffee. That'd be that good, Yeah, and then, then we'll figure out to. That would go down well nice. <laughs> that would be well nice. That would be well nice. <laughs> um. Right, we come to the end of another video. Uh, Rick and I have decided we're. We're tired out, aren't we? We've. We, 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 we've walked. For how far have we walked? 36 metres? A good, good few metres. Maybe 37. <laughs> It's been a nice day though, hasn't it? It's been it's very been enjoyable. It's been really nice, just, yeah. just bumbling around the countryside and yeah. seeing stuff. Yeah, so um, so there we are. I've uh, realised that my hair is is doing that. What do they call that? Not a mohawk. What's that called? And it sort of pops up in the middle like a mohican, but it's... Like a quiff. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> oh God, yes. I, did, I did the thing! I did the thing. <laughs> Next time we see you, you're going to be wearing like white spangly <laughs> clothes, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, on a serious note, that's it for uh, this video. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, well, Rick and the Vic will be out again quite soon, I'm sure. Say bye for now, Rick. Bye for now, Rick. Cheerio.